I've been wanting an exotic Hermes for the longest time. Guys, in today's video, I am doing a very, very special unboxing that I've honestly been waiting a long time for, a very long time. This is what you get when you buy 500 plus pairs of Hermes Orans. I've actually already unboxed this because I was so excited. I've been wanting an exotic Hermes Birkin 25 for the longest time. When I got that call from my essay at Hermes, I literally screamed and ran to the mall. I was so excited, I could not contain my excitement. I literally just had to run to the mall and get the bag. It's been on my wish list for a very long time and it is, it's very special. A whole load of nothing. <laughs> Of course I didn't get offered an Hermes Birkin 25 in an exotic skin from the boutique because if you guys didn't know, they hate me. I also don't play into the game because I'll be honest, I don't give a shit about the game. I mean, I do care about the brand. I love the brand. I love my Hermes Birkins and Kellys and I would love, love to own a Kelly pochette in a croc. I don't love it to the extent where I'll buy stupid things I don't need just to get offered one. I in fact do not even have a wish list. I've never created a wish list. I really don't care. Look, I'll be honest, I got a little something from Dior, but before you click off, it is an exotic. It is an exotic, and if you guys have been here for a while, you'll know that my first ever exotic from Dior was a Himalayan. My pride and joy, that Himalayan croc mini Lady Dior. I love it so much. I don't wear it often, but I do take her out on special occasions, and recently I've been wearing her quite often, and I've been enjoying her quite a lot. I decided it was time to bite the bullet and get another one. Let's just get into the unboxing before we talk about price, because the price is, um, I messaged my essay, I was like, I'm looking for this bag, please let me know if you have one available. To which she responded, we have this one available in Abu Dhabi, which is, oh, it's a different box as well, which is 45 minutes away from Dubai. It took like a day to get here. And once it came, she's like, I've set up the VIP room for you, please let me know when you're coming. So my sister and I, went into the Dior boutique and I did ask to see other colors that they had available before I decide on this one because even though this is the color I've always wanted, I, I like options, like why not? I know this bag comes in different shades. We looked at the various other different shades and I decided, no, oh, that's a bit of an anti-climax. Anti I decided that this, this is the one. She is, oh, she's so beautifully packaged. Honestly, I'm, I usually like rip, I just rip open the packaging, but no, when I paid like an arm and a leg for this bag, I'm not gonna rip open the packaging. I'm gonna take it off gently, carefully. But let me tell you, actually, speaking of price, the price I paid for this, I could very easily have bought myself an Hermes Birkin or Kelly from a reseller, but in regular leather, not in exotic leather. I could have actually bought two or three Birkin or Kellys actually two, two Birkin or Kellys from the boutique for the price that I paid for one exotic Dior bag. However, before I show you guys, comment down below what you think the color is. It's a special color. Here she is. Yeah, she, she's a girl. In all her glory, this is, oh my God, I can't, I cannot, I cannot. This is exactly what I wanted. This is a mini Lady Dior in shiny crocodile leather. I don't know the precise color name, but it's emerald green, bro. This is like, this is, this is stunning. This is very stunning. She's green, she's gorgeous. There was the option to get it with the crystals, but of course that was a little bit more and that wasn't available. I actually needed this bag urgently because I have an event to attend and this is the bag of choice that I wanted to wear for the event, so I decided to get it. Emerald green, just green in general, is my favorite color. I am obsessed with green and all I've ever wanted is an exotic bag in green, a small evening bag in green. I will definitely be buying the Birkin 25 in this color. I will also be buying the Kelly Pochette in this color whenever I can. But for now, we're gonna stick to the Lady Dior because that was what was available. Also, the, the cost of a crocodile on the resale market is a lot more, a lot, lot more than from the boutique itself. Although I did actually get offered an exotic from the boutique, they wanted me to spend about 50,000 pounds on a bracelet, I think. That's a conversion, 100,000 dirhams. Over 100,000 dirhams on a 
full diamond bracelet, which I did not like. I only bought the half diamond, so I only got offered like a basic bag, which I don't even like. The first and only bag I've ever bought from the boutique, I don't like, but it's fine. I'm. I'm learning to love it now. Regardless, I've got the bag that I wanted. This, I mean, it does the job for now. I'm very happy with it. It is the perfect size. This actually does come. Oh, wait, she has a passport. This bag actually comes in a smaller size, the micro size. And my essay asked me if I did want that one, but honestly, I don't wear my micro Lady Dior enough to be able to justify spending like 60, 50, 60,000 dirhams on what's essentially an airport's case. That doesn't make sense to me. I mean, small bags are very cute for evenings, but I need an evening bag that's practical and that can actually hold my phone. So with Exotic, you get, oh wait, what is this? Oh my God. Oh, okay, so here's the authenticity card. Oh, here we go. This also comes with a chain, of course. I never use the chains though. I find them too long. For evening wear, I don't think I'm gonna be carrying this on my shoulder or crossbody. So of course, um, exotics come with their own passports because you actually need to have these handy if you, oh wait, I am traveling abroad with this bag. How will I travel abroad with this bag? I'm so confused. Okay, so the color is Ver Fonts dark green alligator from mississippi so this is basically the certificate and then you also get one of these is this the passport french i'm so confused oh okay <laughs> i was like i don't speak french there's english on the back this exceptional piece is made by christian dior workshops with the most refined exotic skins some of these are protected by the sites c-i-t-e-s regulation for this reason dior recommends that you keep your item with its invoice and sales certificate, always. Should you choose to travel abroad with this product, please check in advance the requirements of your departure and destination countries, A specific additional documentation may be required. This is like worse than having a child to carry with me across borders. I wonder what the laws and regulations are for India. I'm definitely gonna be carrying this in my hand luggage. I never put expensive things, anything, valuable i never put it in check-in luggage it's the worst thing you could ever do and if you guys want to check out the little tiktok that i did you guys can see the other color that i was offered and the other skins that i was offered on the topic of other skins i will be honest this was probably one of the cheapest options out of all the exotic well crocodile bags out there there's hermes which is currently unattainable for me resale market and boutique wise <laughs> Then there's Fendi. The Fendi peekaboo is very cute. I have one in Python. I have two in Python. And I did really love the little mini new ones. I don't know what the size is, but they're mini ones in crocodile with like crystals. Those are actually about two or 3,000 pounds more than this one. Maybe more, maybe like 5,000 pounds more than this. I don't know. I just, I didn't like it that much. I feel like the Lady Dior has such a classic look and such a beautiful kind of like elegance to it that I felt this would probably be the best option for the event that I'm going to. But then there's also, who else does exotics right now? Is that it? Oh, there's Bottega. There is Bottega. Bottega. So I walked into the Bottega store right after I purchased this bag. I was feeling very happy with my purchase. I walked into the Bottega store only to discover that the Bottega store in Mall of Emirates has the teen pouch in crocodile in Bottega green. They also have a mini Jody in crocodile in Bottega green. I wanted to cry because they were stunning pieces. Mind you, the teen pouch, that was more than this. That was about a hundred and something thousand dirhams. And the Jodi was actually around the same sort of price point as this. Although the Jodi was a very supple, beautiful leather, it was not shiny and it did not have the same effect as this. Bottega has a very like relaxed, laid back kind of style. And I honestly need more evening bags. And I feel like this is actually a bag which can be worn in the evening as well as during the day. Wow. We also saw their custom orders. If you do want to make a custom order, the cost for the custom order is about 20,000 dirhams more. Love that it's in this champagne kind of hardware and not like a bright gold hardware. So if you follow me on TikTok, you'll know that I actually got a gift from Dior and you've probably already seen it. But if you're not following me on TikTok, then you're probably like around my age or older and you just don't give a shit about TikTok. To be honest, neither do I, but it's a platform which my management have pushed me to work on because it's great and it's now an upcoming great platform and YouTube seems to be dying. So, you know, gotta make money somehow. Yeah. You all gave me a little gift. Someone did ask me if I made a purchase online to get this gift. Babe, no. To get a gift with purchase that costs 630 pounds, you have to at least be spending 20,000 pounds. 
So, <laughs> they gave me this little mini Caro lipstick case. Someone said it looks like a tampon case. Another person said it looks like a vape case. My vape does not fit in here, and I'm definitely not the kind of person to be walking around with only one tampon, so. But then again, I'm not really the kind of person to be walking around with one lipstick and only a lipstick. The only thing I need in life is something green that will fit in here, so. Fantastic color. Thank you for choosing the perfect color. I love how it actually comes with this chain. This has like an acrylic, CD chain with gold CDs on it. You can open it up inside and it has a little mirror. You can add a lipstick. I can even do my, oh. I genuinely thought they gave me a lipstick or like they were giving me macaroons. But I mean, if you're spending X amount of money, you kind of deserve to get a free gift. Not really free, but I'm gonna consider the bag was 630 pounds off, which makes me feel a little bit happier. I'm not really gonna discuss price. You can speak to an essay about the price if you really are interested in one of these, but just know that it is definitely cheaper than the Fendi Peekaboo. It is also cheaper than an Hermes Croc bag. On the topic of price, I just want to mention that the Lady Dior's in other exotic skins are marginally cheaper. So in the exotics range, you've got two different kinds of snake, I believe. There's python and another snake. There's also lizard and then there's ostrich. I think that's it. I'm not too sure. I only have grabbed two tools across. I did actually consider a Laura Piana pouch in Crocodile. They offered me one a few months ago and I didn't really like it. The cost of that bag from Laura Piana was honestly like half, less than half price of this which to me was not bad. It was justifiable in the sense that it's considered quiet luxury. There's no branding, there's no logos. Anything Laura Piana is more like, if you know, you know, except for these summer charms and the open walks, everyone and their mother and their dogs are wearing them now. I don't like them in the ostrich. Personally, I'm just very averse to an ostrich. It reminds me of like boils, each to their own. The ostrich bags are marginally cheaper. You can also find them pre-loved for like a thousand pounds, which is ridiculous, which also then highlights to me that there is no real investment value on those. Whereas a croc bag, when I was checking vestiaire, cause I did actually consider buying one pre-loved because this is a lot of money for a bag. The prices were more or less the same if there were any available. If there were, they were probably a little bit more and I'm not paying more for a pre-loved bag if I can get the whole in-store shopping experience and a free gift. I'm very happy with Dior, I'll be honest. Dior has just been amazing to me. Dior is a brand which even if I don't shop at frequently, they'll still send me updates or like their new collections. My essays are amazing at Dior. I don't think I've spent a lot of money at Dior recently, but they still invite me to events, they still, you know, message me with their updated collections and ask me if I'm interested in coming and, you know, having a private preview, which is very sweet. I like that they are loyal to their customers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back with another video because I did actually buy something from Bottega when I did go in there. I'll see you guys in my next video. You guys can check me out on TikTok and Instagram. I'm like a different person on every different social media platform. It just, it's a great way for me to express my several different personas and personalities. Bye.